Hey guys, how are you going? My name is Dom and today I want to talk about how to send post data through Ajax with JavaScript. So it's actually quite straightforward and what we're going to do is we're going to create a PHP script which will accept the request and then send back any post data as uppercase and then from there we're going to print out that response on the actual HTML page. So let's get started. Inside your script tag, you're going to want to create a new XML HTTP request object. So let's define a new constant and call this one XHR equal to a new XML HTTP request. Okay, now we're going to say what happens when we receive a response from the server. So we're going to say, okay, XHR.onload is equal to than this function right here. So this function will be called when the response has finished and we have the actual response to actually work with. So inside here, we're going to just um, print out the response to the screen. So let's first just make a new paragraph tag in the body which will hold the server response. So let's make a new paragraph and give an ID of uh, server response. Okay, so now inside here, we're going to first get a reference to that paragraph tag. So I'll say, okay, const and then uh, p, or let's just say server response again, equal to document dot get element by ID, and passing server response to that one right there. Okay. Now we're going to say, okay, when the response comes through, we're going to say, okay, server response dot inner HTML is equal to this dot response text. Okay, so we're going to change the HTML inside here to whatever was received by the server. Okay, and now to actually conduct the post request down here, we're going to open, sorry, we're going to first open the request. So we're going to say, okay, xhr.open for the open method. Inside here, we're going to pass in two arguments. The first one being the, the HTTP method, this one being post, of course, and then the actual URL or the resource to make the request to. In our case, we're going to say, okay, dom.php. And we're going to make this PHP file very soon. All right. Now, below here, we're going to set a request header, the content type header. And that's important, um, or else the actual data that you send won't actually be sent. So we're going to say xhr.set request header. We're going to set the content type header of that request. Okay. And we'll say that the content type is going to be application forward slash x dash www and then form URL encoded. And that'll be the content type of the, um, the request body that we're going to be sending. So now to actually send data and actually make the request, we're going to use the send method on the request object. So we're going to say, okay, xhr.send, okay. Inside here, we're going to pass in one argument, that being the actual um, the actual request body. So now, we're going to send two post variables. We're going to call one name. So we'll say name, then is equal to then the value. So name equals Dominic. All right. An ampersand to um, signify one more argument. Sorry, one more variable. We're going to say name is Dominic and also we're going to pass in message with the value of how's it going. Okay. And that is all for the JavaScript. So we're going to first make a request object. And then when the response comes through, we're going to set the HTML of this response um, paragraph as the actual server response. And then we're going to open up the request. So say it's a post request to the dom.php file. And then we're going to set the content type of the request. So the server knows how to handle it. It's going to be the form URL encoded one. And then we're going to actually send the request and then pass in some variables. Okay. Now for the actual PHP part, it's going to be quite simple. We're going to first make this DOM PHP file. So inside here, we're going to say, okay, new file. Call this one uh, DOM.php. Now within here, we're going to just simply loop through all the post variables and we're just going to convert them to uppercase. So we're going to say, okay, for each 
post variable, okay, as post variable, so post var. For each of those, we're going to echo string to upper, pass in the post var, and also do a HTML line break. Okay, so we're going to just echo out each um, each post variable as uppercase and then followed by a line break. And that's why this is HTML, so that's why we're using the in HTML method, oh sorry, property, not the actual text content property. So that allows you to actually put HTML onto this HTML tag, all right? And now we are all done. So let's save these two files and go in the browser and then refresh. What do we get? Refresh. We get Dominic and how's it going? Perfect. Look now looking at the um, the XHR um, request here, we can see that in the request headers we have all that stuff and of course our actual form data name is gonna be Dominic or lowercase, message how's it going, lowercase. Okay? And the response was that right there, which is then inserted into the HTML right there. Alright? And that is all for sending post data through Ajax using JavaScript. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you later.